Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to be comparing my Canon M50 mirrorless camera to the camera on my Note 20 Ultra. So I just wanted to do a comparison of a high-end smartphone camera to his mid-range, very impressive uh, mirrorless camera. I'm not going to get into all the specs on these, but I will say the Note 20 is very impressive with the triple camera with the ultra wide the wide angle and the telephoto cameras it's got a 5x optical zoom and a 50x super resolution zoom which is more software powered but still does a decent job and on the m50 you're going to get that true optical zoom and the more zoom depending on what lens you put on it the m50 is a great camera with lots of great features not going to get into those details though so let's get into the comparisons all right, so here's outside video side by side. Um, obviously, the color settings are a little bit different, which I didn't realize. But um, outside in full light, both shots are very similar. This is the Note 20 at full screen. Looks very good. Now going over to the M50 at full screen. This is being shot in 4K. Should have had it on 1080. I think I have a shot of that coming up after this. Um, it does crop it down, which I don't like, but this is being shot in 4K. And then this shot is the full widescreen in 1080. All right, here are some outside stills with the M50. A couple full shots. That's a zoomed in shot. And that is fully zoomed in as well with the optical zoom. Now the same shots with the Note 20. Pretty similar. You get to the zoomed in shots there. They do not quite look as good as the M50, but still pretty decent. All right, moving inside first with the Note 20. You got some really good shots there. You can also do some different effects with the blur in the background very easily. With an added blur or spiral blur like that. But really, really good shots. Now compared to the M50, these shots are really good. You can see how the focal point is perfect. The blur is like perfect. It just um, right where it should be. The shots look absolutely amazing. All right, low light with the Note 20. That is low light. That's even less light. And this is with the flash compared to the M50. That's low light. And that is lower light, same same light as the other one, and that is with the flash. All right, so overall, yeah, the camera takes better shots, better video, um, and has a lot of different options and filters and different things you can choose from um, for very general and everyday use. The phone is very comparable now. These newer phones have amazing cameras on them. But if you're really into photography or doing videos or doing videos on YouTube or whatever, then, you know, you're probably going to want a better camera. But I do have to say, as we bring up the uh, phone screen here, the stuff you can do on it and the special things you can do on it is very easy. All done, you know, touch on the screen. You can put you know, the AR doodle on this phone at least. We can touch the screen and put different things up there or draw on it and it'll follow based on where you move the camera. So that's pretty cool. Very impressive for a phone camera for sure. The camera I use is the Canon M50. I like it a lot. I use it for all my videos. It's doing a great job. And I also use my phone if I need to take a shot real quick or something and my camera's not nearby. I can still grab it and, and, and take a shot or a video, and it turns out great. All right, well, that's all I got for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.